I want to show you guys that eco-friendly does not have to be synonymous with expensive, okay? Because Surprise, friends! I'm back. This is the first video of the new year. Hello, we made it. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I kind of just need to like wash away 2020, you know? I, I don't need any of that energy in my life. I need new energy, it's a new year, I'm a new sin, okay? I need different energy, I need to attract different energy. We're doing different things this year. So, first step, you gotta get rid of the old energy. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right now, I'm going through everything and getting rid of all of our old blankets that I don't use or want, or I'm Marie Kondoing myself. Anything that I touch in the house that does not bring me happiness and joy and peace is getting tossed, okay? So that's what we're doing. I'm starting with my closet. Let's get started. So my camera died and I got hungry and distracted. So I made myself some French toast and an egg that I ate most of and I ate it in a little circle shape. I don't know why, I was just nibbling away and it ended up in a circle shape, but I'm about halfway done <sighs> with my purge. I have two bags full, a couple of things there. I'm gonna donate that stuff to a separate space that's ready for storage so yeah it's kind of a disaster still but I have a few more hours left until my honey gets home and hopefully by then my whole house will be all clean So it's a little messy in here. My husband's birthday was yesterday. So I haven't cleaned up yet, but I'll get to that later. That's not what we're talking about right now, okay? That's not what we're talking about right now, okay? So I cleaned out my blankets. I only have a few blankets in here. I think I only have like three or four. This thing was like full before. And then this, I'm giving those shoes away. And that is my Christmas bin. And then the stuff in here we are going through today. That's an empty bin I'm giving to my mom and that needs to be recycled. That is a stray pine cone from the Christmas tree. It's gonna have to make it in this bucket. And then here I have the stuff that I was going to give away. Don't mind the streamer. I, we had a really good day yesterday, okay? <laughs> So I have two full bags and then one paper bag and a couple of things on the bottom. I'm gonna finish going through there. I'm gonna finish going through that. And here is my craft craft mess. Um, I think I'm gonna go through and take all of the stuff out and. We're gonna go from there. I am really looking forward to getting rid of my stuff. I have way too much stuff, and you know, I've been really getting into uh, manifestation lately, and 
being more in tune with the person that you want to be. So I am gonna get rid of all of the things that do not make me feel like the person I want to be. Now that I have gone through all of my things and I've picked out the stuff that brings me joy and makes me feel like the person that I want to be from 2021 going forward, I am going to go through and show you guys how to get rid of things sustainably. I already did this with the other three bags of stuff that I have that I'm getting rid of, but I have one more bag here that I'm going to show you kind of how I sift through it and how I decide. Um, what I'm actually gonna keep and what I'm actually gonna give away. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you sort through all of your stuff and you're going back through to make sure that you're doing it sustainably is to pick out anything that you can upcycle or turn into something else. So for example, I have these pink fuzzy pajama bottoms that are super thick and soft, they're an extra large, so they're a little too big for me to wear regularly, but the fabric is so soft and warm and it makes me happy and the color is so vibrant and pretty that I'm gonna keep it. And I don't exactly know what I'm gonna make with this yet, but I'm gonna make something with it, so that's in the keep pile. This is just a plain black, crew neck that I have, but it is an extra large and I'm going to upcycle this into a skirt and matching crop top. I also want to get some embroidery thread and put like some little flowers or little butterflies or something pretty, I don't know yet, but that is also in the keep pile. If you're not a seamstress, that's okay, have no fear, no sew projects are here. So I have a bunch of old t-shirts. I say old because I got them from Value Village, even though they still have the tags on them, but I got them on like everything is half off day, so they're like 50 cents a piece. So I have some old t-shirts here. You could just do something really simple, like cut the sleeves and make it a tank top. If your shirt is in not good condition, like this one, how there's like a rip on the bottom of it. See? You can take it and what I'm gonna do is cut it into smaller squares or rectangles and use them for my Swiffer broom so that I don't have to buy any of the disposable Swiffer mop, Swiffer broom pad attachment things. I can just pop in a t-shirt, pop in a reusable paper towel and then my floor is clean. You could also use these, use old t-shirts for head wraps, um, not a head wrap like the one that I'm wearing, but for curly girlies, after you wash your hair, you're not really supposed to use a towel or um, a regular towel because it can dry out your hair and make it break off. So you're supposed to use a cloth towel or a microfiber towel. Instead of spending $10 on a microfiber towel, check this out. Take your old t-shirt, even if there's a rip in it, that's okay. Open the bottom part of the t-shirt like so. So there's a little hole, like the bottom of the t-shirt, you wanna put your head in there. So you're gonna take it and take the bottom, put it on your head, just like a towel. You do it exactly like a towel. Tie your hair up in the front, just like a towel, guys. This is free. I, I spent zero dollars on this. Google, Google search for me right now, microfiber hair towel, and tell me how much it is in the comments. I'll wait. Is it more than zero dollars? Cause I bet. 
So yeah. Finally, I have this old t-shirt. Nothing is really wrong with it. There are a couple of stains on it, but the color is really, really pretty, so I didn't just wanna get rid of it. So my plan with this was to collect a couple of other similarly colored shirts from my friends. Like I have a couple of friends that are getting rid of stuff right now. I really want to use this old t-shirt to cut up and turn into a rug. This is my first apartment and I thought rugs were like $5. Rugs are like $30, you guys. 30 plus for a rug, for a little, a little, you know, you're adults, you've seen how expensive rugs are. Yeah, fuck that, that's bullshit. So I'm gonna show you how to make a rug out of old t-shirts. There are a lot of misconceptions about what it means to be zero waste and what it means to be sustainable. And my goal with my channel now, with the new year and trying new things is to hopefully teach all of you, my friends, how to live more sustainably but affordably. Like, I want to show you guys that eco-friendly does not have to be synonymous with expensive, okay? If you like this kind of video, don't be shy. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate the support. It helps me out so much. I love the love that I get from you guys. It's seriously awesome. And if you decide to come along on my zero waste journey with me and you're interested in learning how to be more sustainable, Hit that subscribe button, don't be fake. Didn't I just say we were friends? So friends support friends, so you should support me. I hope that I can show you that eco-friendly does not have to be synonymous with expensive so that we can save both the planet and our wallets together. If you made it this far, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. I appreciate all of the support. Hello to my new subscribers. I don't know where you came from or how you found me, but I love you and I appreciate you. If you've made it this far, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.